But you know what I do though? What? If I really don't want to be fing a nigga, I close my eyes. And picture someone else? <laughs> blue face. You picture blue face? Yes. You want to smash blue face? So why not go in the blue face bad girls club? <sighs> Cause. Cause what? He matched it. But you attracted to but, it. But this was before Lord he. Nah, Shavos. this is before. And this is before he was not not. Shit. This is before. I don't want to hear that shit. Cause if he was here today, you would still give it to him. Boom. What it do, everybody? And thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with an I, not a Y. Do not X Y. And today I have a great one for y'all because ladies and gentlemen we are joined by songwriter recording artist and as of recently reality tv star color aka i am color yeah it's that bitch from the 716 yeah heard buffalo stand up in this piece i fuck with that okay so you know what we're going to jump straight into it I'm glad that you Jump. said I'm glad that you said Buffalo. Jump. So when we were setting this arraignment up, okay. I said something that you heard and could tell off Bucks, I'm not from Charlotte. You asked where I was from. I told you Maryland. You asked Baltimore. I said no. <laughs> I'm from Maryland, from the county. I'm not gonna cap. <laughs> and you gave a response on something like that's crazy type <laughs> shit. Like you called it crazy that I wasn't from the city. I wanna know, I wanna know why. Because like I didn't even know. <laughs> Mm-mm. Nope, nope. That ain't the answer. I didn't know Maryland. You said Maryland, the county? Well, I just, yeah, I'm from the county. Because you asked Baltimore. Like, so you got Baltimore City, you got D.C., and then you got counties. You got PG County. See, I didn't know nothing about the counties. Yeah. That's why I said that's crazy. Like, what? You a dog in the county. <laughs> <laughs> I'm county bounty proud of it. Yeah, yeah, man, but... but hey, that's like when people be like, you not really from New York. Because oh, because you say you're from Buffalo? Buffalo six hours away. Uh, from New so, York. Uh, so, but we yeah. we like the country of New York. Well, I've been to Buffalo. Buffalo isn't country. It's city, exactly, but, but it's they very say that. it has a like grimy vibe to it. Like I've been through Buffalo. It's, it's very rough. It's not like bright city. Like Charlotte is like a it's bright dull. city. Yeah, it's dull. There we go. But see, I say Atlanta is like Buffalo. It's really? just bigger. Bigger. Yeah. Cause every time I go to Atlanta, it's dolls like that gray i come here it's blue skies mm. green trees yeah like it's crazy yeah but we're not advertising charlotte we're kind of full at the moment we're not advertising <laughs> but it is it don't is, come here yeah but it, 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 is, it, is, it is a difference how long have you been in charlotte mm. i'm gonna just say like maybe 2002 ish 2002 but you're you're a charlotte team i've always been back and forth mm -hmm. and then just recently like going to family reunions mm -hmm. i'm discovering that my people from down here for real right they just went up top and uh, had all the babies but uh, my grandma and them was raised down here too but charlotte. they from buffalo though yeah like they was born there but they would come down here like over the summertime to their grandparents house and stuff and yeah so um that's something I've I've been hearing a lot from people from Charlotte. Is like, in the summertime, is how it usually works. Is people from the south would go to the north for the summer, and then vice versa. Mm -hmm. People exactly. from the north would come to the south for the summer. Exactly. Um, yeah, I, I like Buffalo. Best uh, food spot. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm pull your Buffalo car right now. Best food spot in Buffalo. Uh, well, I don't know. Mine's not gonna be popular opinion. What I don't it? think because I like not Luigi's, but it's this place called Pano's. It's like this fancy kind of restaurant. They serve the salad. I really like it's chicken suvaki salad. It's a Greek salad. That should be hitting chicken suvaki. That's what that's what I like. Sounds that's like what, some freaky shit. That's what I like. But when I go home, I don't even have to go eat nowhere because my people cook every day. Your peeps cooking. Um, no, that's what's up. So I've been to Buffalo. We went to some food spot. I don't know the name of it, but it had a whole bunch of Harley Davidsons hanging from the ceiling. And one of my partners told me that I think it's a spot called Duff's that's supposed to be good. But um, did you know Rick James is from Buffalo? No, I didn't. Know. Well, actually, I forgot about that fact, mm -hmm. but that's a fact. Rick James is from Buffalo. That is a fact. I went to his grave. His grave site has like a whole bunch of empty bottles. Mm -hmm. So I think people go to his grave and like turn up. His with... grave is there? 
Yeah, it's in Buffalo. His oh, grave site's wow. in Buffalo. Yeah, so if you're in Buffalo, visit uh, Rick James' spot. His oh. well, his graveyard, grave spot. I don't know the proper term. It's tombstone, all that shit is there. And That's it has a whole bunch so of bottles cool. around it and whatnot. Um, so let's talk about your professional endeavors. You're a part of Cake Boss Life Entertainment, mm-hmm. right? So first off, like how did you even come about partner partnering with them? Okay, so I was on Hollywood Unlocked one day, you know, getting some tea. And um What's Hollywood I saw, Unlocked? It's like a shade room. Okay. I think it's Jason Lee's company. Okay, okay gotcha. So I saw them post a network. It was like a network hosting and shows or whatever. Mm-hmm. Two of the girls that was on Jocelyn's Cabaret was mm-hmm. doing a show on there. Mm-hmm. So I really liked Miss Natural, so I'm like, I'm going to audition for her shit. Well, by the time I um sent the audition tapes and whatever, um, they was like, we like your audition tape, but we full at the moment, but we could put you on this show. And so I'm like, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, because I never seen myself doing a dating show before. Right. So, I your, so how like how does the audition tape work for that? Like, I, I just made a, you know, I was really into like YouTube and stuff. Like, okay. I do a lot of stuff out of just music. Like, I be shooting videos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Whatever I feel like, I be like taking my own yeah. photos, everything. Yeah. So I'm good at putting stuff together. I just put a collage of some shit mm-hmm. of me doing all the the things I try. Okay. And I put it together and I just sold myself. Yeah. So, yeah. They was like, yeah, we could put you on here. You know, it'll be good for your music or whatever. And after talking to my mom, she's like, well, you single? <laughs> like... You ain't got nothing else to lose, so you might as well. Let me ask you something with that. Mm-hmm. Does being in a relationship but not being married or engaged mean you single? Does that mean you single? No, not to me. Yeah. So being if you with somebody, you with somebody. Cause like people say, like if you with someone but they ain't put a ring on it, then technically you single. I know theoretically you're with them, but they say technically you single. See, I don't be thinking like everybody, so I don't yeah. know. So you're saying once you bucked, you bucked. To me, whether if it's, I'm with somebody, I'm with them. Whether it's in the in the eyes of the state and the government, regardless if you bucked, you bucked. Mm. All right, cool. I just I just want to know that. Continue. <laughs> yeah, so um, I was like, all right. They was like, do you know who Ponzo is? I'm like, no. they like, okay, that's good because we don't want y'all to look him up or nothing. We want it to be like a genuine experience, and I wanted it to be a genuine experience uh-huh. too. Cause like, what all I do is do here all day is stay in the house. Like yeah. I get to get out the house. Right. I'm not gonna have my phone. Ain't nobody gonna be bothering me. Yeah, like it's whatever. So I was like, all right, cool. But like, I thought I wasn't going at one point because they was like they was gonna send me the contract. I never got the contract, so mm-hmm. I thought it was like you thought it was fugazi. it is what it is. Yeah. But five days before, it was like. Did you come in? Mm-hmm. Like, what's up? Yeah. So I was like, yeah. So was it all inclusive? What you mean? Did they take care of everything, like the flights, food, everything was covered? Um, Everything for the most part, but just me getting down there, it wasn't taken care of because it was so last minute. Mm-hmm. And they was like, we thought you wasn't fucking with it. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, y'all never sent me the right. shit. Like, right. is there a certain color I'm supposed to yeah. wear? Like, let me know. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of miscommunication, it sounds like. Yeah. All right, so the show was called For the Love of Ponzo. Mm-hmm. And it's for finding love with Ponzo Houdini, mm-hmm. who's an artist mm-hmm. out of what? Buffalo. W- Buffalo. Okay, so yeah. you, was, you, went, you went back to Buffalo for this. No, so he lives in Atlanta now. So the show is in Atlanta, yeah. but the network. Everybody's pretty much from Buffalo though, so I thought that was cool too. All the all the women in there were from Buffalo. Um, or, or you saying the network? Most of them, but the network, yeah, okay. they okay. from Buffalo. And stuff. Okay, so Ponzo's from Buffalo. It was a house of house full of women. How many women? I have no freaking idea. Was it more than ten? About ten. Probably eleven or eleven. 12. Somewhere around there, ten, give or take, ballpark. All right. So before we get into what it was like, let me ask you. So. What was the main reason for you going for exposure, for actually finding love, or something else? Um, I feel like it was for 
yeah, definitely to see if I was going to get a connection or not. But exposure to, like, mm-hmm. let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Exposure to, what else? And just the experience and a break. Yeah. Because I ne- I don't go nowhere. Like, I don't do mm. nothing. I miss a lot of, I miss out on a lot of things. And I told myself, like, this year I'm going to make an effort to do something for me. So this was recently that y'all recorded it? 2023? Um, this was, yeah, February. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So January, I made plans. I'm like, I'm going to do this differently. I'm going to stop procrastinating. I'm going to yeah. do this to do this. You know, just do something different. Yeah. And that was very different because mm-hmm. I never saw myself doing a dating show. So do you believe you can find true love in, like, one of those, like, dating shows, reality show things? Maybe. I don't know. Because it sounds too short. I don't It depends on how long. My but How long I what? Feel, I feel, I don't know. How long... How long you're there with them? Yeah. I wanted to say, like, back in Flavor of, of Love Days mm-hmm. and Bad Girls, like, yeah. they was there for, like, two months or yeah. something like that. Like, we was there for a week. Oh, y'all were there for a week? Yeah. Oh, so did you fall for Ponzo? I didn't necessarily fall for him, mm-hmm. but I did like the person I got to know. Okay. As far as the little time I did get, because it's not like we had, like, one-on-ones and stuff like that, like... Oh my gosh, girls was all over him, and I told I put him aside. I'm like, nigga, I'm not doing all that. I don't know you. Yeah, I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't even know you like yeah. that. I'm not even finna. Yeah, but you know what? That act, like you said, girls be all over him, and you know that strokes our ego. But that act on some like pulling to the side, like I ain't finna do what they doing. I'm just, you know what I mean. But I, I'm feeling you, like you know, what's up? That act. Is is much more memorable than the girls being all over you, cause you don't know if it's facade, you don't know if it's real, you don't know if they just thirsty, you don't know what's what. But if some pull you to the side, that shit will definitely get your attention. Did he react like that? Um, how did he, he bas- react? He basically was like, "Yeah, I appreciate you like for coming to me and let me know that whatever. Like, I definitely." Like, I can tell, like, it's cool. Yeah. And honestly, I don't even know. Like, first of all, I'm like, I just hope I last at least three days in the mm-hmm. house. Like, Was it eliminations? Yes. Oh, okay. So it was actually eliminations. Eliminations, yo. I'm nervous as fuck. First yeah. of all, first elimination, I'm like. Was that after the God. first day? Yeah, just after he gave us our names and stuff. Oh, he eliminated right there on the spot. Like, after we got to the house, yeah. they lined us up for elimination. I'm what? like, oh, shit. Damn. So, he just calling girls, calling girls. So, yeah, yeah. why are you here for me? Why are you here for Ponzo? Like, I'm here f- for you. Mm-hmm. I'm here for you. What did you say? I'm like, shit, I just came to get to know you. Like, you know, shit, I'm doing what I'm doing in my city. Yeah. Uh, shit, I'm single. I'm just here. Like, yeah. what's up? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And the other girl was just like, yeah, you know, I could boss you up and da 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 da. I'm like, I'm already, you know, like, don't no nigga want to hear that. Come on, shorty. So, she said she could boss him up. Yeah. I'm like, girl, get the fuck out. What you mean you could boss me up? Yeah. You here for me. Fuck yes. is you talking about? Yeah, so she, she did all that. Then everybody looked back at me like, you gonna say something to that? Nah. <sighs> Yeah, now nah, let her put I'm her good. own foot in her mouth. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. Let her fall on her own sword. But re- what really has saved me, though, like, mm-hmm. in passing, when we was doing, like, the recording for the intros and stuff, like, me and him actually was, like, passing each other in the hallway. It was just us, like, no cameras or mm-hmm. whatever. And I was just like, what you doing? You know, like, just playing mm-hmm. with him and shit. Fucking with him. He's like, where you go? I'm like, I'm finna put that shit on. Like, yeah, he was like, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like, show, show, so. him, show him some personality. Yeah, yeah so he was like, that. oh, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna see what's up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Period. So, like, how far did you make it? Like, what? So, I made it to the final four. Mm. Yeah. That's good Because, like I said, like, I ain't gonna lie, my anxiety be getting to me. Yeah. I'm just like, Yo, I only really plan like shit. At least let me stay for three days. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Like, but it was like things kept happening mm-hmm. that kept me in the house, and I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, like I don't know if I could take much more of this. Like uh, it's every like time it comes me up. up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about bitches pulling a pussy. I like doing the most, and I'm just like. <sighs> I was ready. I asked. can't compete with that. I was ready. Ask <laughs> like, was it going down? Like, was it fucking going on in there? 
I don't know, cause I ain't gonna lie. If it ain't had nothing to do with me, mm-hmm. I'm in my bed. Mm-hmm. I'm out the way. Yeah. Like I do not like drama, none of that. But I mean, I'ma handle my shit if it's brought to me. But if it don't have nothing to do with me, I could tell I'm out you, the way. So I did see a clip that had you in it, and it was it was it was joints like barking at each other. Ray started getting to scrapping, and you just see you like in the cut, like just watching them like. Cause I'm just like, if it has nothing to do with me, if it's not directed to me, if I don't feel no type of way about it, like I, I'm good. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't. I think it's dumb how like women go on these dates, especially black women, because I don't see Elizabeth and Meredith and Becky and them doing it. <laughs> it's always black women that go on these dating reality shows or shows where it's multiple black women under one roof, and they feel like they gotta fucking go at it. I don't get that shit. Like they, it's like they have to just go off with each other and fight and shit. I don't get because I'm 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 not crazy to see women fight first and foremost. So like when I see that shit, I'm like, why is it like when y'all be under a roof for some type of reality show, it just kicks in where y'all gotta fight each other and bark at each other. I think that shit is. Honestly, to me, that shit is ugly as fuck. Yeah. That's why I really don't be trying to do it. Yeah. Like, I I do not be trying to get to that point. Um, honestly, going into the house, I was mentally preparing myself, like, do not make friends with this, with these bitches. Cause yeah. honestly, that could happen. Like mm. it could be a situation where bitches just don't like, I've always been the one growing up bitches. Just, I don't like you. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. I don't know what you don't like, but okay. So it's like going into the house. Let me just be prepared. Mm-hmm. And then knowing that, like, a jumping situation, that can happen, too, mm. do, especially nowadays, doing these kind of shows. Yeah. But then, like, I went back and I actually watched Flavor of Love, and I was like, it's not even that kind of show. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm I'm supposed to be there looking for love. Yeah, like, and Flav, that's not even, that's uh, not attractive. And Flav, Flav would always pick the clap. Well, besides New York, she always, <laughs> New York was ratchet. She had a pass. She always made it, but she was, she was ratchet. She was the ratchet that always made it. But besides New York, he would always pick the class he want to stay around. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, he would, would, could you, all right, let me ask you this. Say you were selected to go on Flavor of Love. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we know Flavor Flavor Flav, he's a legend, mm-hmm. not the most handsome fella. If you was on the show, would you truly be there? Could you see yourself falling in love with Flav to the end? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking lie. Honestly, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because watching him as like a kid like watching them date him on the show like you get to see him as a person yeah like i mean past the physical shit right right right. like you start to like like he's wild yeah. but he's like he could be romantic stuff yeah. like that so i can see why they was like going yeah, after him. Yeah. i ain't gonna lie i thought about this before like, yeah yeah Yo, I saw a clip like a recent clip of new york and Flav kind of reuniting they like came across each other at some type of dinner or some shit like that. Mm. And New York was going crazy about Flav, yo. I'm like, hey, he got some type of mojo that the ladies like. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's personality. It's yeah, like... First and foremost. It's the inside. Like, mm-hmm. I know people say looks don't matter. For me, I feel like when I'm looking, looks matter. Because I got to I look at you and want to fuck the shit out you first and then i get to know your inside but i feel like that's where i'll be fucking up anyway so let me just shut up well (laughs) i think that's the normal recipe for vast majority of women how long how long does it take for a woman to know that she wants to fuck a dude i don't know you do know (laughs) i can't answer for nobody else me well i'm asking you calore I think it's like it's not an instant thing, but it's a pretty quick thing. Like I think, I, think, I feel like, nah, I can't even say that because I be picking some horrible ass niggas. Why am I say I got I pick well? I say mm. T minus thirty seconds. Why you say that? I think thirty seconds or less is how long it takes for a woman to know if she wants to fuck a dude or not. I think so because number one, if you smell good, that's automatically tingles. Yeah. <laughs> automatically and then if you look good and then your swag good and then how you moving about in public like I love like being around a nigga and he like working he got he got some motion out and I'm seeing him in motion it's like oh shit I want to like I want sex sick right now like what yeah. the fuck 
But why don't y'all? Yeah. Like, why do y'all play? Why do y'all play Ooh. the long? Why do women play the long game when they think like that? They want to. They want to take him down right down. The, she's saying, I don't know what you talking about. But y'all want to take a dude down right down the spot. Why do y'all drag it out? And it could be for a day. It could be for two days. I'm not saying this for fucking weeks. But I'm just saying, <laughs> y'all want to do something right there on the spot. But y'all kind of drag it out. All right, maybe they had a bad experience because for me, that shit has backfired on me. What do you mean? Like, just because, like, like, let's say this ring light. Because I chose this ring light to be the one, like, damn, I'm about to fuck this nigga right now. Mm-hmm. Now he thinking, like, the ring light thinking, like, oh, you be like this with all the ring lights. Mm-hmm. Like, this is what you do. This, it don't be that. That's a valid thought, though. I mean, I don't say? like that. Well, I don't like that. Well, I, I don't want to know if you like it. Do you think it's a valid thought? <laughs> If you're I mean, just walking, down, if you're just walking down the street and the dude walks up to you and say, "Hey, I want to fuck you right here, right now," do you think he does that on the regular? Yeah, all right, yeah. I think he whether does he does or regular. doesn't, whether ah. he does or doesn't, you're gonna think that you're gonna insinuate that yeah. regardless. I think but that's... I feel like once you get to know me and you see the way I move, you should uh, like chill the fuck out on me. Do you want some more of this? You good. And it also comes down to the dude too. I'm at the point where I don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't. I'm not ready. I don't ask a woman what type of past she had. I don't care about what type of past she had. If we're attracted to each other and we're trying to get it in, then that's all that matter. I'm not ready. To think that. I mean, and I might have a slight thought that you. I'm not even going down that road on. Oh, she do this on regular. Nah. Like what the fuck? Like listen, man. We we here for a good time, not a long time. So let's make it a good time. That's how I think. Right. That's how some people think. That's not how most people think. That's just, you know, the fact of the matter of the situation. Um, so let's let's give some quick game to the fellas. So you said smell good. Smell good. Dress good. Have manners. Like open doors for bitches and shit. Like chivalry is not dead. Period. Yeah. Love that. Like, oh, that's the quickest way. Yeah. That's the quickest. So right. open up the door to the building is like open up the door to the drawers. <laughs> Unnecessarily. Like, this one nigga was finna turn up at this place. He was like, you know what? Go to the car. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, hey, what? Yeah. Go to the car. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. All right. Peace. I was like, ah, bitch, he sent me to the car. Yeah. Y'all got he it in, in the car? get ratchet. <laughs> nah, because he was in the restaurant about oh, to turn up because oh, 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 they okay. was treating us some kind of way. He oh, was like, oh, go, go to the, the car. car. I'll handle I this. was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, wait till we get to where we going. It's going down. Like, what? I'm finna suck this scared. All that did, did you Did you give him a hit right there in the car? I bet money you did. <sighs> we drove separately. Uh, but once we got there, yeah. 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 If y'all drove together, you would have, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> y'all like doing it. You, what, what do y'all? What do y'all? Why do y'all like giving head while driving? While we driving? Um, did I do that? You done I, done that I ain't even did that before. Really? I mean, I Give hand a job shot. while I'm talking shit. Like, I'm a, yeah. I'm I'm gonna be a honey. Amateur calor. I'm gonna be a honey. I'm a fake freak. Go for the bee's knees. You said you're a fake freak. I'm a fake freak. No, you're not. <laughs> what you mean? I've seen the the fuck you video with Ponzo. We'll talk about that. That's why you just. That's why you. Just, I am a fake. That's freak. why you just roll I am your a eyes. fake freak. All right, it's, it's your lie. You tell it, but um. All right, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. But yeah, nah. You you should you should you know what I'm saying try it out the car. You know the car shit is it's good stuff. Make sure he ain't driving no stick though. No stick shift. <laughs> no stick shift. And no you gotta have shift. tents. That's another rule. Gotta have tents. And yeah. Why you gotta have tents? Why can't nobody see? But yeah, you're a fake freak, right? <laughs> I am what, though. I saying? have limits. I saying? have limits. That's Ain't why no I'm a non-freak fake freak. Freak gonna be also. Why can't nobody see? Cut the bullshit, Kalor. <laughs> You freaked out and tweaked out. I promise out. to God I'm a fake freak. Okay. The but fact I that like you even the have freak. to say you're a fake freak is like trying to like put we up gonna a wall. We going to get into it. We going right. to get into okay, it. Okay. We will. Uh-huh. We will. Yeah. Um, new album. Let's yeah. talk about music for a second. November 23rd, on your birthday, you're dropping a new album. First off, what's going to be the name of the album? Therapy Session. Therapy Session. 
Yeah. Intriguing. Why therapy session? Because my music is therapy mm. for me. Like, I'm going to take you guys on a roller coaster. I probably literally got some fucking Grammy awards off of one nigga. Grammy, oh, off of one situation that you was in. Yeah, anytime and... I feel some type of way, I'm writing a song about it. And it's coming like that. How long were y'all together? It was a situation ship. Well, those the dick was good. Those, those tend, and the dick was good. Those <laughs> those tend to be the ones that last the longest. So how long did it last? For I, I'm gonna do over under. I'm gonna say over four years. No. Over three years. No, I'm an artist. So. So uh, what that mean? I don't know. Um, I feel like it's kind of ongoing, even though. As in still. I'm like, eh. but it be like. Eh. So, yeah. so y'all be <laughs> every now and again. <laughs> so y'all still be sneaking and geeking. <laughs> See what I tell every, you. Every now and again, I don't know for some reason I cannot shake this nigga, and I don't like that. It's because it's a sit. Listen. Toxic. We all had situationships, good sex, bad relationships. Those are the ones that last the longest. I hate it. They last longer than any relationship. And this one. Oh, shit. I don't know. Maybe this is like one and a half years. One and a half years? Maybe. Well, welcome to the Terror Dome. You got a good two years at the least left on it. No, it, it cannot <laughs> be that because I cannot stop being delusional in my head. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to say this. You know how they say like vagina runs the world? Good penis runs the world. Good penis. Vagina runs the world, but good penis runs the vagina. And the vagina controls the brain. <laughs> that is so fucked up. Why? Sounds like you're stuck. No, I ain't stuck because I go about my day. and be, But it's like, it's not a day go, that I go by. I don't be thinking about this nigga. Like, ugh, I hate it. Do you smash anyone else? Have you smashed uh, anyone else? Yeah. But... I don't be wanting to. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I do, though? What? Oh, my gosh. This might kill me later. But I ain't gonna lie. Like, if I really don't want to be fucking a nigga, I close my eyes. And picture someone else? <laughs> blue face. You picture blue face? You wanna, yes. You want to smash blue face? So why not go in the blue face bad girls club? Because. <sighs> because what? He mad shit. But you attracted to but, it. But this was before Lord he. Nah, this is before. Us. This is before he was not not shit. This is I don't want to hear that shit because if he was here today, you would still give it to him. What is I it? Got them. What? It, yeah, exactly. What is it about Blueface that you like? He fine as hell. You say he fine as hell. <laughs> you like Blueface you, fine. You like the ain't shit part too. You like Fuck that. You. you like that part too. That shit is attractive to you. Yeah. Miss Fake Freak. Come on but, now. But, if y'all listen, like watch Krishan, the YouTube. Watch but, her, but watch. I like Krishan, though. Yeah. And I don't... What you say that for? Because... It's like... Because you like Krishan, you wouldn't do nothing with Blueface? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like... Uh, I like Offset, but if Cardi B ain't have a ring on her finger, she was single. Bruh, she came I'm sorry. Away, I'm okay, it up. look like at me, y'all. I like ASAP Rocky, but if Rihanna was in the building, I'm tearing it up. What does that mean? You like Chris? Okay, do I get a pass? Cause, you get a pass uh, for what? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, but Blueface one is fuck. If I get the opportunity, I'm taking it. I know. Don't catch no charge. Tell us I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I don't catch no charge, man. Um, all right, real quick, back to the album. First off, November 23rd, that's your birthday. Are you a Scorpio or a Sag? I'm on the day they split, so I get really so I'm mostly a Sag, but I get a little bit of Scorpio. Team Sag, I'm a Sag too. Animal, Ooh, an, animal, no, November 29th. Okay, yeah, so I have a dash of Scorpio in me as well. Yeah, just a dash. November Sag is a different, yeah, in the best way. Yeah, you ever date the same sign before? Yeah, it was weird as fuck, terrible. Yeah. Matter of fact, I think you and my ex boyfriend got the same birthday. <sighs> that yeah. nigga was bipolar. 
Well, I'm not. Do not do it. I highly don't she, recommend. She's talking about her own experiences. She's not talking about me. Don't do it. If I'm you calm. if you the same sign, don't do I'm it. I promise. Oh, same sign. Yeah, nah. Dating a fellow Sag was definitely weird. It was very weird. Like I think other signs, some other signs are compatible compatible with itself, but Sagittarius. Absolutely not. That shit was weird as fuck. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm not heavy into astrology and all that shit, but it was a lot of shit that was like, yo, like, what the fuck? Why are you just like me? Like, this is very weird. Very weird. Yeah. What made yours weird? This nigga was really bipolar. Mm -hmm. Like, it was scary. Yeah, I mean, that's that's like some clinical <clears throat> shit. Nah, like, we would go to sleep together. Like, he would cuddle, cuddle me every night. Mm -hmm. And then I get to work, and he'll be like, good morning, beautiful. How did you sleep? And then I get home. He got an attitude. Don't want to talk. He in the corner drinking. Now, this night, he sleep on the couch. Don't say nothing to me. He used to kiss me in the morning. Goodbye. I'm going to work. And now he don't do that. Now he just take off. Then text me while I'm at work. Good morning, beautiful. How did you sleep? I get home. We don't talk. Then it repeat. The next day I get home. Now it's movie night. He all over me, like really mind fucking the shit out of me, like to the point where shit. I'll... Yeah, that's a little deeper than astrology, baby girl. That sounds like that's what I'm saying. Like, you yeah. know, has some has unstable. Some, has he ever been like? Clinically diagnosed as bipolar. Okay, so one day after he left the house, I'm like, I'm about to look. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm looking through his shit. Yeah. I'm looking. I found some pills. Uh -oh. And I think when I looked it up, it said something about, like, bipolar shit. And oh, I was boy. like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was spooky. Yeah, well, I'm glad you made it to the other side. Hell um, yeah. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> Speaking of bipolar, um, you called it therapy for you. That was the name of the album. Mm -hmm. Therapy, therapy, you. therapy session. Therapy session. Therapy session. Nice, nice. Um, will the record "Fuck You" be on there? Yes, it will. Great record, by the way. If y'all haven't seen it by now, Great check point. it out. Forty as of now, as of today, as of October. What are we? Twentieth. Whatever the fuck the date is. As of October, 43,000 views on YouTube. It's only been up for two months. It's a fucking hit. There we go. Shake them things. Yeah. Check it out on YouTube. Um, it's with Kalor featuring Ponzo Houdini. So was that like part of like the winning package? Like you got to be a part of the uh, uh, the team, the uh, Cake Boss Life Entertainment team, plus you got a feature from him? That Yes, so basically when I got eliminated, he was like, this is not going to be a sad elimination. Like, you know, your vibe is cool. We just didn't, you know, hit it off like that or whatever. But yeah. I definitely want to fuck with you on the music tip because anytime, basically I was winning most of the challenges in the house. Okay. Because I'm competitive and I'm smart as fuck. So I'm putting, I'm putting shit together and whoever on my team, we win it every time. Mm -hmm. So whenever we got a chance to be outside the house, we in the club with them, I got the DJ playing my shit. Okay. The DJ, the first DJ dropped my shit six times. Mm -hmm. The second DJ, they gave me the mic too. Mm -hmm. So then he got to see my stage presence. Yeah. Then he was like, oh yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm about to fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Um, so just real quick, is he with the joint that he chose as the winner? Is he still with her? No. See, that's that. That's... And he actually chose two of them. Two of them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds like a good time, not a long time. All right, so real <laughs> quick, back to the song, the Fuck You song. Great fucking song. I really like the visuals. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the pole work. You you have some talent on the pole. Um, and then like even the sex room, you know, even like the red vibe, you know, red is an emotional color, mm -hmm. you know, every color with everything is very important. Like color triggers off emotions and excitement, but most on the emotional part, like the visuals was real good. Like who came up with that? Was that all you? Um, I chose the set design. He chose the, um, videographer. He mm -hmm. knows her. This lady named Jade. Shout out to you, Jade. I was even shocked that it was a female that was going to be shooting us. And she did a really, really, really bomb-ass job. Like, yeah. yeah. So, fun fact. Mm -hmm. We're there at the place. Like, a lot of the celebrities in Atlanta use that uh, place, which I didn't know. So, Young Nudie was there shooting his own little video. Mm. And my set was in front of the entryway. So, while I was on the pole... 
like they was on break and everything. So it was about like 20 people standing there looking at me. I'm like, oh shit, I got to go off. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely had to do my big one and I did it. There you go. Was that when you hit the uh, the joint and then dropped down on the All floor? All of that. The split? No, when I was on the pole. When I was doing oh, okay. the pole Straight work, pole. that's when, yeah, a lot of people was there. Yeah. I was happy I found that place too. And I was getting stressed out because I was like, I'm I'm hoping it's available. Mm -hmm. I had to get that bread up. Where did the pole talent come from? Um, so I took some pole classes and originally my mom was just like, let's go take a pole class, like basically on some fitness shit. And mm -hmm. I ended up like falling in love with it because it was like, that was therapy for me too. Mm. But the nigga I was fucking with was like, ah, you doing all your shit, I would never, da, da, da. I kind of like lost my way with it. But I had a pole at home. I was teaching myself some stuff too. Yeah. And have doing ever, it online. Have you ever like entertained like at a club before? For a week, I did this YouTube show called Stripper Bootcamp. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was really into it. And I was like, yeah, I'm just trying to see what it is. What it, is. <laughs> it was all right. Yeah. Did you make it through the end? Yeah, I made it through the end. So why didn't you continue to like actually pursue like in the club? Well, back in the day, like stripping and stuff was very taboo. Yeah. Like, it wasn't popular. Wait, how old are you? 27. Okay, we're the same age. So, yeah, you know, like... What year was this that you talking about back in the day? I just mean, like, in the 90s, early 2000s, like, it was like, oh, she's a stripper. She's a hoe, like, da 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 It was like that. And then towards, like, 2013-ish, that's when being a stripper became popular. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get you. So saying. my mindset is still thinking about people judging. Okay, you're still, like, past So... I couldn't get past that. And yeah. then I'm like, damn, I got to talk to these niggas. What I got to say? Mm. <laughs> like, hi. Yeah. So <clears throat> I've had three strippers on my show. But the, the thing is, they are strippers, but they consider themselves entertainers. Because mm. they said stripping isn't about just twerking and shaking your ass. It's right. about entertaining. It's about conversating. It's about selling a dream, dream. essentially. Mm -hmm. Right? Which was, you know, a, a good thing to learn and whatnot. And like you said, like, you have to know how to hold a conversation with a man and kind of be his therapist in a form, right? Like someone right. he could talk to, right? Because that's what leads to the big dollars. It's not just twerking. Like, yeah, twerking is part of it. But people, you know, think of these Atlanta strip clubs and think, oh, you just got to twerk and you're going to get paid. Like, you got to be able to work a goddamn floor. You got to be able to work up to a dude. You got to be able to know how to handle rejection, that's that's another big thing too. Yeah, yeah. Especially with me like being plus size or whatever. Like that's always on your brain. Mm. And then I ain't no ass. Like I ain't no ass. Yeah. <laughs> so that too, like you see a girl with a fat ass, like, damn, I ain't got no ass. Like mm. you said damn. you you said you ain't have one ass, and I'm guessing you're saying that you have one now. Um, I got my body done okay. in, in May. Mm -hmm. I need to go for another round, low key. But I mean, is it that is ass it, is assing? Is it is it uh shots or like how is it? Is I got it my fat put back there. So BBL. Yeah. Okay. So you saying going for another round as in putting more fat back there? Yeah. See, I don't know because the first time, like, mm -hmm. well, you got to do your research if you're gonna do it, y'all. I did my research, but. It's other research that I didn't do. Like, I didn't know that I wasn't finna get off the table with the shit instantly. I'm thinking, boom, I'm getting it done. I'm yeah, finna have got, a fatty when I get up. It got a... But it depends on what state you go to because they got state regulations. So I went to Atlanta and they can only take up to like nine pounds or something. Uh -huh. and that's not a lot. Okay. So it's like, I got it done. Can we, can we see it? Can we see what it looks like now? Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. I just want to see Okay. So that that looks natural. Yes. Yeah, so the doctor I chose, he does natural work. Okay. Which I want it, but I just So you want to do more? I think I think a little bigger, but I think you're good. That looks natural. Then you got I mean, listen, them 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 things on your chest is But old. I mean, I need to get lipo one more time like lipo. on the front. Let me ask you something, Kaloa. Because uh -huh. I'm someone who lives in the gym. Why not just hit the gym and, and, and do it naturally? But I do. And I have back in the day. But it's like... We're I talking be so, about today. We're not I be so... Busy. Yeah, okay. We'll wake up an hour earlier. 
and 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 get it done. Ain't no excuse. I literally, what time you wake I up? literally be trying. I wake up at nine. Nine. And I just start working. You wake up at nine. A little bit of hair is on the microphone. You wake Where? up at nine. Talking about somebody got time to do it. That's late as fuck. Nine o'clock is I'm late. Not, I don't go to sleep until late. Like I just got finished doing hair before I came here, and I normally would have another client. You, that's crazy. You you know what that is? An, An excuse. excuse. You I need to wake it. up. You need to wake up about <laughs> six o'clock. But I do. I do hit the gym though. Listen, all we need is a good. A, at a six hours does the body right. I know everybody say eight hours, six hours. If I can sleep from, I usually sleep from like two to eight, two to seven. That does the body right. If you in motion, then that motion will will. He calling me on my shit. I don't like it. I am. That's what, that's what the fuck we do. That's day by day. All right, but you right though. Yeah, I mean, I got some shit I got to improve I mean, and work on too that I call myself out on. It is on my schedule. I'm just saying, I think you but should it's just try. it's easier. <laughs> I think, see, it's, that's what I'm saying, but of course. But at the same time, like, I don't know, it's terrifying because it's dangerous. What's dangerous? The surgery, right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. What if you get the surgery and then, like, isn't it, like, susceptible to getting put right back on? Because you're not, here's the thing, because you get the surgery and it's like, it's quick, it's easy. You don't work for it, so it's, it's. I think it's quicker for it to get put back on. It's like working, out, it's like uh, making money. I think so. When you get fast, easy money, you blow it because you don't really have no type of value with it because you got it quick. I think it's like that with the surgeries. Once you get the surgery, it's like, okay, it was quick, fast. I'm already where I need to be. So then it's like, you don't really develop the discipline to keep working and work towards the body to maintain it. That's true. That's just my synopsis on it. But like I said, right now, like the BBL you got looks good. Thank and you. then like your 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 body, like as all, like as it is right now, looks good. I think if you just tone it up, mm, chef's kiss. Right, right. Yeah, I think I might do that. But I gotta ask yeah. you, what's what size are they? What size do you think they are? They have to be in the J's. Are they in the J's? Higher or lower? G's? Lower. G's? Higher. H. Mm-hmm. All right. 38 triple H? I don't really know the number. I ain't going to lie. I stopped buying my bras for real. So? I just be putting on, like, smaller ones to help them, like, sit up. Yeah? Yeah. But they're H. Yeah. Was that you that threw your bra at Drake when he was like, God Shut damn. the fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> You aggravating as hell. You dumb as shit. Like. Oh shit. Um, real quick, back to the to the fuck you song with um Ponzo. It was a sex room, essentially, right? Wasn't it like given like Basically. the theme of a sex room? Would you have a sex room like in like a long term relationship? Hell yeah. Yeah. What the fuck? All right, I just had to make sure. Well, let me ask you, what are three must items in Calor's sex room? Just three. Can we pick three must have items? <sighs> gotta have the whip. Gotta have the pole. And then I ain't never used a swing before, but that'll be nice. How would you use a swing? <laughs> Put that shit. In the ceiling, I don't know. I'm saying, like, is it just like just for you to swing on, or would you like jump off it and jump on the dick? Like, how was the sw- how would the <laughs> swing work? What kind of swing is it? Is it a sex swing? What's a sex swing? You never see the ones that like hang on the door or whatever. You just like sit in it. Yeah, I didn't and know that was. A, they... I didn't know that was a swing. I thought that was yeah, just they like call a, that a swing. Sling. Like a sling. A sling is Shut something. The fuck a sling, up. A sling I don't is, know. I don't know. A, yeah, me neither. I, I said don't know. I ain't never used it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I don't know. All right. Ain't it some possible handcuffs? I don't know. I, I never been handcuffed either. Like you never been handcuffed tied up. Niggas were scared. You never been handcuffed or tied up. Um, so I put a leash on me before. That was fun. You liked it? Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm the type of person. Yeah, smack me. I don't know. <laughs> Like, well, you're the, like I, I be fourth. smacking niggas, biting niggas. Nah, don't smack or bite me. Fuck out here. I'll smack you. Smack the shit out of you, nigga. What? You ever oh, had a nigga spit in, that shit. You, Go ever ahead. Had, you ever had a nigga spit in your face? Yo, this one nigga tries to spit my mouth. <laughs> Not mouth. I'm talking about face, like some disrespectful shit. No. That's why I said I'm a fake freak. I'm not going for all of that shit, bro. No. Okay, just because you don't want no one to spit in your face don't mean you're not a freak. Nah. Because you will let a nigga spit in your mouth. 
No. You, you wouldn't? No. So what happened when the dude tried to spin your he mouth? He was about to get chin checked. Because he wanted to spin your mouth? But you like to get slapped. Freaks like to get slapped. I like to get slapped. That's what I'm saying. I like to get choked. That's what I'm saying. Freaks like Should to get pull my hair or something. I don't know. That just makes me wetter. Yeah, you even said it in the song. You said pull your hair to pull your weave out. I like out. it rough. Yeah. I like it rough. Pull your pull your weave out to the cornrows, right? Ain't yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. I do my research. I that was research. fuck you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was on fuck you. I do my research. That was a good song. I really liked it. Um, all right. <laughs> but see, you see how clever that shit is? Cause I really be I really be talking to niggas where like I wanna say fuck you. Like as in fuck off, like fuck you. But but I want to fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> well, Everybody can relate to that. I was going to say, you're not the first woman that has that dilemma. You're not the last woman that has that dilemma. Like I said earlier, they say vagina runs the world, but good dick runs the vagina. And that vagina runs the brain. <laughs> hey, man. Why can't we all just get along? Uh, we can. We can. <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're mammals. We're creatures at the end of the day. Like... Hey, y'all got to stop using that as an excuse. I don't want to hear that pro, shit. Procreating Ooh. is why we're here. Ooh. It's why our children will it's be here. It's in our nature. But it feels good, which is, you know, why we want to do it so much. So it's like, why not? These niggas. What's your favorite position? No, I might be corny for this. You're not. Um, I do like missionary. Like I like being on my back. Okay, that's not corny. Because I I just like to see like. Mm. Just like to see the work. Damn, you attacking me? Yeah. Mm. But at the same time, shoot, I do like back shots too. Shit, smack my shit. That's the back shots. Is the creme de la creme. <laughs> I don't know, it's just that you just get deeper back there. Like. Yeah. I um, so you know what? I'm not gonna lie. For the longest, I was like against BBLs, and I'm not saying I'm pro BBL, but recently I hit my first BBL. <laughs> <laughs> How was the experience? Well, she had a fantastic BBL first and foremost. It wasn't no cheap joint. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like she invested good money into it because I couldn't even tell. I mean, hindsight, yeah, it's 2020, but like at the moment, like because it started, I was giving her a massage. You know the massage? I'm giving her a massage. Nigga, did you say, let me give you a massage? Yeah, yeah. Because she was in her back hurt. I was like, let me give you a massage. <laughs> so I'm giving her a massage and I'm rubbing her ass. And I'm like, yo, women will pay for your ass. That's what I said. And she's like, I'm not going to lie, I have a BBL. I was like, for real? I was Damn, like, who her doctor is? I was like, you want, me to, you want me to ask? Tell me. Well, nah, you know, because we said you doing the gym. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm like, damn, for real? So I'm like, damn, this shit felt so fucking natural. So anyway, you know, we was having sex or whatever, and it gets to the, you know, it gets to the fireworks, the back shots. And I'm back there, and I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking amazing. <laughs> I bet, nigga. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I always had, like, a firm <laughs> ass, but after my BBL. You had a droop boot? It's, it's jiggly. It's jiggly now? Yeah. Jiggly puff? It's jiggly now. Has the dude ever titty fucked you? Yes, but I like to initiate it. Like, certain shit... Like, if you do certain shit to me, I'm going to feel like a hoe. And I don't like that. Like, I got so to be the initiator. See, you, I be in my head too much. Yeah, you're definitely in your head too much. That's why I said I'm a That's fake crazy. freak. No, I don't think you're a fake freak. I think you just think too deep on certain situations. I do. You're a freak. Like, I have, you know how, like, uh, women, like, and gay people, they have gay dars for, like, gay men. I have a freak radar. <laughs> You're, you're, I'm not saying you're the biggest freak I've ever come across, but you're not a fake freak. You're a freak deep down inside. So can we just kick this fake freak shit out the window, please? Okay, I'm a freak with limits. All right, boom, there we go. That's all you had to say. That's I'm all a freak you, with limits. You're a freak with limits who thinks deep from time to time. That's it. That's yeah. all you had to say. There we fucking yeah. go. Dr. Day is in the building, y'all. Don't worry. <laughs> Your boy got you. But, um, 
So is that for everything? Like everything freaky you do, you have to initiate it? Yeah, or I'm or I'm gonna feel some type of way about it. Well, see, the thing is, some women like feeling like a hoe. Like that turns them on. Yes, but for the right nigga. Okay. Like so for the dude that you've been dealing with for the past year and a half, does yeah, do you like, have do you have to initiate everything on him or do you like when he initiates towards you? There was a time where I did have to initiate and I was like, bro. I feel like I'm raping this nigga now. I'm like, no. <laughs> like, See, but when he Lord. initiated, it's like, oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. So okay. can anybody else do that? Or does it have to be with someone that you've been stuff. dealing with for a certain amount of time? Like, if I'm just, if I'm just fucking, I'm fucking with you because, because we have history and mm-hmm. I don't want a new body and I just need to get my nut real quick. Like, anything you, gonna, you do is going to annoy the shit out of me. You said any... Uh, okay, so... So basically what you just said was if there's a dude that you've had sex with before, you don't want a new body, but you want to get another off. He's close. He's convenient. You hit him up. Anything he does blows you. Yeah. Like just him being around is going to annoy the shit out of me. But it's like get the job done. But it's like you can't do certain shit females, that this nigga can do. But you I can't do certain shit, shit this nigga can do. Like. Like shit, he could got them walk make around my sense. shit, go make him something to eat afterwards. No, you gotta go home. Make it make sense. It makes sense. It does not. It makes sense. Women like, are women are the ninth. What is it? Ninth or eighth? How many wonders of the world do we have? Seven. Let's say seven or eight. Eight. Wom- eight. Women are the ninth wonder of the world, but y'all are so fucking confusing. Cause what the actual fuck did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm just being my honest goodness! Here. Yeah, no, which I love, which I love. And you know what else? Like, I gotta like. Sometimes I gotta dress it up and shit. Dress but that, up. but that be for me, like lingerie and shit. Yeah, like I be wanting like some movie type shit. Like, okay, I like I like rough shit, but sometimes I like that romantic shit. Mm-hmm. So I be listening to my old school shit. Mm-hmm. Drinking my wine with my lingerie on, with mm-hmm. the candles lit. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. it's going to go down because I got to get this pussy right. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. I don't know why I said that, but I just said it. Yeah. You're setting the mood. You're setting the vibe. I can picture it. <sighs> it's good stuff. I'm telling all my business. No, nah, I be listening. I be, <laughs> I mean, listen, you know, like I said, this. I told what I say before the joint started? What did I say? We vibing. It's a conversation. This is not no goddamn interview. I don't do interviews. I've done interviews before, and they've turned out terrible. I didn't like them because it felt like an interview. This ain't no interview. This is a conversation. But I'm here with you. Like, you're not on the island by yourself. I'm on the island with you. All I know is... I got my life vest on. How long are we finna be on this uh, topic? We can move on. Um, Is that why you asked? Because you want to move on? No, I'm just saying. Because it's getting exciting. Yeah. Well, then let's keep it going. Um, so you, do you like listening to music during, I feel like it's a category with you. I feel like you like doing certain things with certain dude. And then you like doing certain things with, or not doing certain things with someone else. (laughs) Most of the time. Yeah. I put some music on because I be in my head thinking about shit. Get out of your fucking head. That's your problem. And do you have a playlist? YouTube has a playlist. What do you type in? <laughs> well, shit. Most of the time, I go to Isley Brothers. Oh, you old school for real. Mm-hmm. Don't you listen to Between the Sheets? Some You've Between been the and Sheets. Shit. Yo, this one nigga was like, he been around for years. Mm-hmm. That song, um, where he, where they like, I'll always come back to you. This nigga like. Um, will you really come back to me? Oh, God. Like, I mean, it's been so many years that we might. He asked that <laughs> like, why y'all. He asked that why y'all was fucking. Was we still going? This is my playlist. You want to check it out? No, let me see. That's yeah, my playlist. The freak list. <laughs> what you think? Don't hold back. I can handle scrutiny. <laughs> you got some good shit in here. Thank you. Thank you. So you know it's good. It's just 
<laughs> that just triggered her ass, boy. <laughs> Hey, if y'all listening, y'all need Get to watch. Get the fuck out of here. If y'all here. listening, go to YouTube right now. See what her looking at my YouTube, looking at my playlist just did. All right, That's check how me you out. Know, just so you know my shit good. Check my playlist. Yo, you know what's crazy? My neighbor. Mm-hmm. Everything that's in my playlist, they be playing. Like, I play, like, mostly R. Kelly, too. Yeah. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with Kells. You said they play it, too? They probably know that you got it, and they trying to turn you on. I Bruh, who live over there? Yeah, they're trying to turn you Cause on. Cause let's meet. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, you got a lot of Kells. You got a lot of R. Kelly and Trey songs. <laughs> that used to be my little celebrity crush, Trey. I'ma just leave that alone. Cause it's the it's the it's the fact that he know he ain't shit, but he let you know that he ain't shit up front. So you get either fuck with it or not fuck with it, and that's what I like. Yeah. I guess that's why I like Blueface a little bit, cause Yo, he you ain't have... shit, but he let you know up front. That's what you like. Okay, I get it. It all makes sense now. You literally have my favorite um, Marvin Gaye song, just to keep you satisfied. You don't know nothing about that. This is my fucking shit. If y'all don't know nothing about this, y'all wasn't raised right. Just let him talk for a minute. Hold up. You fucked to this? Yes. That's like a breakup song. I don't give a damn. It just sound good. It is. That song, like... No lie, like more times than not brings me to tears. That's a great fucking song. Yeah. Yeah, that's a great song. Oh my gosh. And don't let R. Kelly pregnant come on. Nutting. That does it for you? You said nutting. Have you ever nutted without penetration or being touched or anything? Is that possible? You know I think so, yeah. Have you before? Yeah. What uh what brought it? What brought it about? Oh, reminiscing of music. Reminiscing does it a lot. Yeah, reminiscing you like fuck. Cause I don't know for some reason you can still feel the strokes. If you know what I mean. You're not the first. You're not the first one I've heard say that. You can feel the strokes. What else or is just, friction? Or what? <laughs> or just like reliving the moment and shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, orgasms for women is more so mental than physical. I believe. Yeah. And spiritual. I say mental and spiritual than physical. Yeah. 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 So it makes sense. Because a lot of times, I don't be trying to, but I guess I be faking because I be in my head too much. You be faking orgasms? Well, I just, if a nigga asked me, I'd be like, yeah, I did, but um, probably didn't. Fellas, <laughs> never, ever, ever, ask. ever ask. If you do, wait till the next day. At the very least, do not ask right there on the spot. Because if you say no, then what? You already nutted. You you dead man walking, then what? Or she say, yeah, and she's faking it. You're going to feel good about yourself. But she's lying. She ain't get hers off. And then she's going to call her dude that she's been dealing with for the past year and a half to really knock her socks loose. Possibly. You know, possibly. <laughs> That's the mathematics. I did the science. I did the studies. <laughs> Just, this this one thing asked me like, you didn't come, did you? I was like, yeah. set yourself right up. What did you say? Um, he said you don't be doing that a lot, dude. I'm like, mm. I don't know. I just, I just be in my head too much. Or I don't, I don't really remember what I said. But the next time, he made it happen. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, I'm so proud of you. Because <laughs> that's a that's a challenge to our ego. Yeah, that's a challenge to our ego. Like. I think I I know some women think like you know dudes just want to get their nut and bounce like no like we want to make y'all come first and foremost like that's like us planting that flag on Plymouth Rock you know what I mean like that's big for us and our ego like but a lot of times well some of us niggas be skipping the whole setup the whole the setup is what's really gonna get oh, yeah. me there for oh, real yeah. Oh, yeah. because like if I just play with myself I can make it happen like that. Mm-hmm. But shit, I'm helping you out by dressing myself up and mm-hmm. being in front of the mirror because I'd be like, God damn, like, yeah, mm-hmm. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, porn star activated. Are you an instructor? Like, do you tell what you like with your dude? No. Say why? I don't know. Maybe that would lead to you busting more nuts. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Why hold yourself back? Yeah. 
I mean, if anything, I just end up riding, like, and, just and lay down. Get yours. All right. But maybe I should try to. Yeah, like, say what you but like. But how? Just say it. Tell them. Be like, no, 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 no. Do this. We won't take it as disrespect or we won't feel. For no real, because t- I'll be in my head. I'll be like, why, nah, why we ain't going to feel no type of way about it. <laughs> Again, we want to plant the flag. So, like, okay. show us where to join at and we'll plant that. But we ain't going to feel a tight way about it. Try it out and let me know how I went. Um, <laughs> so, you recently wrapped up a tour. Yes. How did that go? That shit was so fucking fun. It was my first tour in Atlanta. Shout out to Elena because y'all be showing mad fucking love. I need to mad love. The tour was, we went to like different strip clubs and shit just turned that bitch up. Yeah. yeah. What strip clubs did you go to? I don't know the name of the first one. I don't, I don't know the name of the first one, but mm-hmm. and then we did like a little photo shoot for some like promo tours or mm-hmm. whatever. Then we went to KOD with the baddies. Mm-hmm. Natalie and Kat was in that bitch. Turned okay, up. I saw that video on your IG, wasn't it? Yes. Gotcha. It was Lyrica Anderson was there. I fucking love that bitch. Like she made me want to sing again, mm-hmm. for real. Like her albums, her pen is crazy. So I was very excited to see her. Um, I got to meet a celebrity hairstylist too. And then um the last night we ended it off at a vivid. Tore that bitch down too. Section was packed out. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. What was your favorite spot? <sighs> Just based off the experience or like All in all, yeah, the experience. What was your favorite spot based off the experience and the vibe? Uh, Well. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) It's like KOD, but really vivid, though. Okay. I haven't been to neither. I haven't been to Atlanta yet, so. Vivid is like lit. Vivid was lit. All right. Yeah. Vivid. So that's a, that's a strip club I should check out next time I, or when I go to Atlanta. Vivid. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. I will keep that in the memory file. Vivid. Um. Vividly. Vividly. Yeah. So pretty much what we have coming up is the album. Do mm-hmm. you have any singles that's going to drop before November 23rd or are we at our... Uh, I might I might do a couple of singles for the strip clubs. Yeah. Because um the initial plan was for me to sing a couple of songs from my that's gonna be on my album. Mm-hmm. Like fuck you and stuff. But I'm like, I can't do that at a strip club. Nah, that's like not niggas gonna be sleepy. That's the not fuck? a strip club song. But then like the rap stuff I got out now that's on iTunes, like I was just pretty much popping my shit. So I ended up doing those records, but I'm like, I got to make a couple of tarts or something. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. That's the recipe right there. Okay. Period. Yeah. But gotcha. they, they well, always with me. Yeah. Well, um, what else can the people look forward to come from you and where can they find it? Go to shout out to your IG. My IG is I-A-M-K-A-L-O-R-E. I sing, I rap, I trap. You can find me on every social media platform under that handle. So make sure you get to it. And basically, I don't know what I'm doing next. I'm just doing all things. Shoot, I might be in a movie next. I don't know. Yeah. But y'all going to see it because I'm going to post it. There we go. Yeah. And you got good content. Again, that's what even led to me reaching out to you. I've been seeing the content. I think I followed you. I don't know. I don't know what. When exactly, but I think for like the past few weeks, I've been seeing your content. I think maybe two months ago. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I've been seeing your content. I'm like, okay, this is this is good stuff. And then I was like, man, I think she'd be good on the show. And I was 100 percent right because this was a great show. Period. Yeah, yeah, and that's how we do it. And this couldn't be a great show without y'all tuning in. So if you made it to the end, if you made it to this point, from the bottom of my heart, I truly thank y'all. Make sure that you hit like. And subscribe. And I just ask that you share this out, man. It's a lot of hard work and many hours and, you know, many uh, 
you know, many late nights that go into the production of this thing. So if you could just share it out, then that would be muchly appreciated. If you want to do more, you can go ahead and donate. You know what I'm saying? The donate links is in the bio. But regardless, I thank y'all for tuning in um, each and every week. And I ask that you continue to do so. Subscribe. That way you can be kept up to date each and every week. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls with cornrows, nappy heads, perms, and curls. I'm your host, David. I'm not a why. I do not X Y. This is a day by day podcast. And until next time, make sure that you stay blessed, stay sane, stay safe. Peace. Yay. And that's how I go. That was so professional. That's how you do shit. Thank you. Gracious, gracious, gracious. I got a fucking piss.